Hi everyone, we're back and playing some Ad Nauseam today. Even though the namesake Ad Nauseam is missing, this is effectively an Ad Nauseam deck. Now, uh, the idea for this list is not mine. I saw it place, I think it was in a challenge or something like that, um, but credit to Screenwriter and Y for uh, coming up with this list. I've made a couple of small modifications. Um, I added a Manamo, I added a Waterlog Teachings as a way to maybe find a Grace or a Spoils that was lower down in the deck. Um, I swapped the sleight of hands to serum visions. So serum uh, digs one card deeper. If we're playing it during a setup turn, it doesn't really matter. And if we're playing it on a turn where we want to combo, presumably we'll have a ring in play and we can use the serum before the ring activation to again go one card deeper. In the sideboard, I've got some consigns as like a slight switch up from what was the existing list and some into the flood maws but largely the same sort of stuff um i'm pretty hyped for this deck i, I think it looks very good and uh i'm i'm excited to try it out so let's go okay so we have a hand that it's a little bit sketchy sink is a land so on turn one we can go sink and then serum probably looking for second land so i am going to keep this the flare isn't doing much yet. We don't have the lands to get to the ring. We don't have any combo pieces, but this hand seems like it can reliably work its way to a turn four ring. I'm on the play. On the draw, I'd be a little bit less inclined, but I think probably still keep it. So I do want a spoils. I don't think I need a pact. I don't think I can skip combo pieces though, especially when this deck really has no tutoring so you kind of just naturally need to draw every combo piece so bottom basically bottoming yeah bottoming a combo piece hurts so here i'm going to preordain to hopefully guarantee that second land and we do find it so i'm going to top top and then i'm going to play the island play serum drew the angel's grace or drew the flooded strand so now i don't need a strand but i will top the grace to keep the grace. So next turn, we don't exactly have the best turn. I guess we do just get to hold up flare, which is kind of nice. Our opponent has played a voice of resurgence. Let me check. I am in fact in the competitive leagues. So sure. Probably I'm not going to be playing uh, flare, but I, I could if I had to. Let's see what they do. So probably this is going to be a surveil land. That's why I played that over the planes. And I'd like to not have to shock in the damage. Okay, birthing ritual. That's kind of interesting. Hmm. Yeah, they're going to get an elemental anyway and then have a second creature. So I think I'd rather counter this. And I will take the damage from it. Yeah, I'll take the damage. We'll flare that. They do get an elemental. They can't hit us with it this turn. And after this turn, they're probably not hitting us again because we have two rings. I'd rather them not like tutor out some sort of hate card. We draw a Thunder Trap Trainer. Um, it's like not great, but uh, notably it doesn't find Thassa's Oracle, so. Right, so we'll draw a card with the ring. We do pick up flare. Uh, I mean, so we could like trainer flare if um, if it came to that. But next turn we'll draw two. Probably just play another ring unless well I can't counter this one. Probably, probably just play another ring unless we um, unless we hit the oracle. We'll see what they take. Double birthing ritual. You can get a three drop. I mean, what three? I guess like maybe like Archon of Emeria or like there's various hateful three drops that they could have. Are they likely to have them? Probably not. But they are sacking. So let's see. Recruiter of the guard. All right. That's not that. Well, it's a little bit scary. It's a little bit scary in that. I mean, maybe they can get something that's like a threat, but we'll see. They get Witch Enchanter. What is that? What is even is that card? 
Destroy target artifact or enchantment, or else it's a land. Oh, they got it because it's a land. Okay. All right, that makes sense. They want their land draw. So we draw for turn. We do pick up that oracle. I'm going to draw now just to try and hit a pact, but um, we don't. We'll play another land. Not that I really expect to need it here. Can play oracle. And they could have endurance, but we can We do have flare for that, actually. So endurance is not doing a lot against us. I actually like that a lot as an interaction. That's cool. And they scoop it up. All right. So we are up a game over what looks like some sort of pod type thing. Thought seize. Pact of negation, I think I'm less interested in. What do I want? Probably. Oh, do I want ending? Eh, maybe not. Flood Maw seems good. Expect like some sort of hate creature. Thought Seize seems fine. We could cut like be one unlife. Unlife is a little sketchy against like a green deck that's probably gonna blow it up. Consign, I don't feel like we need, although they do have ETBs. Hmm. I think I'm okay passing on consign. Maniac. Eh. I'm gonna draw. Can trim like a serum. Don't think we're gonna need force negation. I'm okay going like Flood Maw Thought Seize here. Okay, I mean we have the Thought Seizes. We have a combo piece. I'm gonna keep this, hopefully try and work my way towards a black land with the serum visions for these thought seizes. Or if I just draw a black land even better, I don't. So it's gonna be island serum. We do hit the delta and we hit C chrome. I think I'm actually gonna bottom C chrome top delta. The problem with the C chrome is if on three I play the archive, the C chrome is tapped on four for ring. And if on three I play the the C chrome, then the archive is tapped on four for ring. So Kind of neither one is that good. We do have two combo pieces already, which is nice. And next turn, yeah, we can Thought Seize Serum. Almost certainly we'll find another land. We just play a bunch of cantrips. See what they have here. Okay, they're passing. I'm pretty happy about that. So I'll play a land. I'm gonna fetch. I'm gonna thought seize by well, I'll get basic swamp and I'll thought seize before we serum. Okay, so they've got two white orchid phantoms. They've got Renegade Rallier, and they've got Skyclave. We do have plenty of basic lands, so I'm not super worried about this, although we did use our basic swamp. Endurance. Endurance could matter. I'm surprised they didn't play a white orchid phantom. And what are they holding it up for? I guess they're just Oh no, destroy non-basic. Never mind. Okay. So we're fine. Alright, so I'm gonna. Take out the Endurance. The Rallier and the Skyclave are both kind of anemic um, with no Revolt, and they don't have it at the moment. Do I want either of these? I think I don't, well, there is a world where I want the teachings. And do I want Manamo? The teachings, yeah, I, I think there's actually some chance I want the teachings. Um, I'm going to bottom the Manamo, I'm going to top the teachings, and then pass. We'll see what they do. Because like, I have two thirds of the combo, so if I'm not really any, under any life total pressure, on turn four I can just search for the grace and then win the next turn. They're playing a White Orchid Phantom, sure. So they've played a 2-2 two -two with first strike. Go to our turn. We pick up the teachings. I'm going to Thought Seize again. Can potentially take Phantom. They drew a 
What does Rallier do? Turn target permanent with out of value two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay. So, I mean, I'll take the Rallier. I can play the Archive, and if they kill it with the Phantom, that's totally fine. I don't think I need an... Well, they're going to make me shuffle. I'm going to do this because I actually do want to incentivize them into playing their other Phantom. They'll hit me for 2 to 13. Yeah, I'd rather them play that than play, like... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. They have Skyclave for the ring, but that's fine. We'll get a Plains. Or the basic land crew over here. They're going to hit for four. And they've got... What do they have? They have Skyclave and one unknown in hand. So we go to our turn. I have a Delta, so I could fetch my uh, my final basic. I think I'm going to. And I think I'm just going to pass. And then on end step teachings for the grace. And win the next turn. So we're going to take four from their attack to nine. My fetch puts me to eight. They don't really, they're not really going to have burst damage as a bant deck though. Get rid of an extraction specialist. Could have searched on their upkeep. Okay, they have a strand, so they have Skyclave and one unknown. All right, so we search. We can get that basic island. Get that Angel's Grace, go to our turn. So now we are faced with a bit of a choice. Are we gonna play around another Endurance or are we just gonna say that if they have the Endurance, they get us? I'm inclined to say that if they have the Endurance, they get us. Yeah, I mean, cause I mean, if, we know one card in their hand. Mm. Yeah, if I play the ring, they Skyclave it, so I'm only going to get to draw one card off of it. Gives them an extra chance to draw something hateful. So I think we just jam here. I'm going to shock in this Watery Grave first, just in case there's any reason to do something like that. Or like in case there's any, I don't know, maybe they have Mana Tithe or something, right? I, I think they don't, but... It's kind of free to because we're going to be at negative life anyway. So, I mean, we'll see. Do they have the endurance? What you got, opponent? And they don't, so we get there. All right, uh, deck felt pretty sweet. Uh, round number two coming up in just a second. Match number two, we are on the... What are we on? We're on the play. All right, so we have three lands, a couple cantrips, and a thunder trap. We've got one combo piece. This is going to be a keep. One nice thing about playing like a deck with a pile of cantrips is you can keep most of your hands. Opponent has Mulligan to six. They are a Gigantha deck. So, uh, energy perhaps. I think we'll shock in the Watery Grave because there's a chance we hold back this Odawara. Or if not, it's Odawara Thundertrap on two, and then I can turn this into probably a Surveil Land. Serum Visions, Blast from the Past. Dark Slick and Planes. So, Planes is decent. I don't need Dark Slick. I do need a white source, although do I really, because this could be Meticulous Archive. I think I actually don't need this. Yeah, this can be Archive. It's probably going to be like Manamo Thundertrap or Odawara Thundertrap, and then turn three, 
serum and like a fetch land. They, do they have okay? They've got a guide of souls. Okay, preordain is decent. I'm gonna play the Odawara here, and yeah, I am gonna play the Thunder Trap. We find the one ring. I mean, it's the only thing we can take, so we will take it. I do like that both of our cantrips essentially dig three deep. Serum kind of digs four deep in the next turn. Preordain two. Like if you're factoring in the draw step. And they can't really hit us because we can block with our Thunder Trap. So that's sweet. Draw for turn. Flare of Denial is good to have. Gives us this Thunder Trap a purpose. I'm going to Surveil first. Although, yeah, I'm going to Surveil first. So we'll get a uh, Meticulous Archive. I don't think I need that. Yeah. Then we can Serum. Don't need these. Although I could have thought about the ring, but alas. Do I need a Pact? No. Do I need another ring? I mean, is there a chance I'm going to need to chain rings here? Honestly, maybe. All right, I'll keep another ring. There's a chance I need to chain rings. And then I'll pass here. We have Flare up, and then next turn we can go like Manamo ring. Just kind of blank all of their, uh, all of their combat things. Namo alongside ring also is nice as we like continue to develop our mana, so it means we're going to get even more draws. So what would I counter with this? I mean, a lot of things. I'd counter an Ajani, I think. Don't feel like I need to counter a Guide of Souls. They are going to get to swing for a bit here, but we're not really planning on keeping these rings longer, so. Amptraptor? Ajani. So, what does this Ajani represent? Does it actually represent, it represents two more energy. So it's two more energy. They pump the cat. I can't really block because then they flip. So I'm gonna counter this sacking the Thunder Trap. And sure, they do get to hit us for five here, but then we get to play a ring. I guess the Ajani probably isn't going to matter, but so they're going to gain more life. Go to our turn. So maybe there's an argument. Actually, I think maybe I shouldn't have played that. Just hold it back for like a card that actually matters. Take the slightly. No, it wouldn't even be a slightly larger hit. Yeah, no, I, th I, sh I shouldn't have played that. That was a bit of a mistake. Picking up spoils is nice, though. Because now we've got two thirds of the combo assembled. They've got a static prison for our ring. Okay, sure. Nice thing is we have another ring. And then we get to play the Seachrome also. So the turn after we have like preordain into another ring if we need to. Ring. We'll draw. Okay, so we're going to play the Sea Chrome here, and then next turn we have Flooded Strand. So we have Serum into Preordain to dig for an Oracle, and then still have four mana left after that. So we have the interesting choice of are they paying for it? They do, because they don't want to give me the one additional card from it. Blood Moon would be bad if they had that, but fortunately it is not Blood Moon, it's put Gigantha to hand. Lose a life. 
Draw a pact. I'm gonna fetch first, then. Although I've scried cards to the bottom, it, I didn't actually count whether or not I was supposed to do that. So we're going to serum. Bottom, bottom. We can then preordain. Oh, the question is actually do I want to Minamo my ring? No, I played a land for turn already. All right, I'll, I'll draw two with the ring. So we pick up two Thunder Traps. Not great either. Preordain. Bottom, bottom. We hit a Spoils, but that's slightly too late. We also don't have double black. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to find another Grace with Thunder Trap. And then we can Grace and then Upkeep Grace. So we did not. I can take another Pact and just try to really shut down whatever they're doing from hand. So if I get a second Thunder Trap, they do get hit for three, four, five, six. And then block, I block two one ones, three, four, five, six, seven. So they hit us for seven. Yeah, I mean, we can try. We can definitely try. Um, well, it's the only thing I can take. So we're passing. We're going to pact everything they do. And try to live. I have to. I do also have double ring with Manamo. But if I can find a black source, then I have spoils. One kind of bad thing is that my fetches end up turned off. But So we are going to pack that. I just don't want to give them energy. Oh, actually, wait. They had to spend an energy on Static Prison, so they don't even get to clock us for as much. that as well so things are looking good here so to block we'll block a cat we'll block another cat and we take five Can't stop that one from coming in, but we do get another turn here. So we'll put our pack triggers on the stack, put our ring trigger on the stack. We will grace, lose two life, not pay that. No, no, we would not like to pay. Draw for turn. Teachings is not really what we need. We do hit a preordain. If we had to, we could unlife. The uh, two so two preordains deep, digs deeper than four cards from the ring. So I'm gonna preordain. We do hit the the oracle. And now that is gonna be oracle. And when it comes in, we've got spoils. We have double uh, double flare backup if we need it. Okay, I mean that was that was pretty cool. Packed while it was good there. I feel like in general it's not that good. I'm more interested in a little bit of removal here with ending. Unlife, again, I think is a little bit sketchy. Flood Maw, they could certainly have hate. What type of hate would I expect? I mean, you can like bounce a creature. Bounce like a. I mean, Magebane Lizard doesn't really matter. They could have like 
damping sphere maybe so we'll, we'll bring in flood moss consign i'm not as worried about thought sees we could take a blood moon potentially but i don't think i like it as much on the draw i think i actually like maybe like a force of negation or two maybe just one one force of negation for some like hate permanence And then we can cut like one serum because we're gonna have a little bit less time on the draw. Although I think generally this is a deck where you can't shave the cantrips. Maybe it was supposed to be one thunder trap. I don't want my blue count to go low for the creatures though. So this is a deck where you generally can't shave the cantrips because the cantrips are like essential in finding your combo. Yeah, I'll keep this. So we do have like turn one preordain, turn two maybe Oracle Flare or something. Probably want to fetch a basic with this work our way towards ring double ring do they have ocelot they have ragavan okay i mean so ragavan is is not great thunder trap is probably one of the better draws we could have i'm a little concerned about a blood moon here but i mean we can't really do a lot about it We do have again like turn two thunder trap hold up flare or something which is kind of nice. A little concerned about the damage we might be taking but we do need to draw land as well. Mm, okay guide of souls so it's not blood moon. Ocelot Pride, yeah, they're gonna have a fast start here. Pick up a Dark Slick, so I mean, I can play Thunder Trap. Do you need to find a White Land? Ooh, so I mean, I can't really turn down a combo piece. I'm just gonna have to hope that we find a White Land another way. They've got two life. So are they going to try and play something pre-combat is the question. If they try and play like, I don't know, an Amp Raptor or an Ajani or something, I think I actually will Flare, because even though I can't block, well, does it save me more overall? I need to actually count, maybe. Goblin Bombardment. So that kind of represents a lot of damage. If I Flare it, taking one, two, three, four, five, what did they eat? They ate a ring, okay. So I'd be taking 5 down to 12, make another Ocelot, gain an energy. Um, so then the next turn I'd be taking 6, 7, 8 if they had no other creature. No, it's not dead. Yeah, I think this is worth it. There's a chance I live next turn, as is. It, yeah, if they don't have another creature here, because they can't pump something here. They do get a token, or an energy, I mean, like the Ragavan trigger. And they hit a Serum Visions, okay? I mean, they can play it, but will they? Who knows? Okay, so they don't do anything else there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight from two counters. Teachings. So the downside of teachings is that now I'm going to play the teachings as archive and I have to, I mean, maybe I live and can play a ring my next turn or okay. Surveil. That's not that scary. I'm hoping I just take eight, go to four. I can like shock in grave play ring and if I need to, or like if I don't draw a white land. If I do draw a fetch land, that's a white land via fetch shock, so I'd need three life for that, which is a little bit dicey. It could also just have like bolt or something and then we're just done. Or they could have another goblin bombardment, but I think the energy lists usually play like 
one Goblin Bombardment. I don't think they usually play many. They get another card from us, and it's an Into the Flood Maw. We have no, uh, nothing for them to bounce with it. And then they're ending. Okay. I mean, sure. Could definitely be, like, Bolt. What else would it even be at this point? I guess Static Prison is a possibility. I could Minamo Ring. I think that's better, because I'd rather not take the damage. Yeah, I think Static Prison is, is a strong possibility, or something that deals with the Ring. Oh, they have Reprieve. Okay, sure, that's gonna get us. Alright, uh, I feel like I have not seen that out of Boros. Interesting. So, Thoughtseize. Yeah, Thoughtseize. A little bit. Alright, I think I want the Serum back in. Do I still want Unlife? No, I don't expect Unlife to stick on the table. So I don't feel like I need Unlife. I'm gonna cut. And maybe I do leave one Serum cut. Cut like one Thunder Trap. And... Maybe the Force of Negation isn't as needed on the play. I don't know if I want to cut the fun Thunder Trap, actually. The Flares are good. So maybe it's one... Hmm, maybe it's one Teachings. Teachings is a little bit... A little bit slow. It was good in the first game, but... We'll play first. We have the full combo, so that's pretty cool. Opponent has revealed Gigantha. I'm going to keep this. So turn one, we go under city sewers. Surveil, looking for another land. Ending is pretty good. I will actually top that. Gives me something to do with my planes on turn one. And then I play like a serum with my other mana. Oh, they have a surveil. Okay. It's figuring, you know slows them down to kill their creature, and this planes isn't doing anything otherwise, so even though it's not, um, it's not like the most exciting thing, I think it's like fine. Do I need another Thought Seize? I'm gonna put it on top, and then put the Dark Slick on top. I'm gonna play the, ooh, I could play the Delta. I don't think I wanna fetch away the Dark Slick. All right, I'll play the Delta. And then, yeah, there's nothing that they could play here that I'm that worried about being able to eat with ending. If they play like a Damping Sphere or something, I have ending for it, so I don't feel like I need to Thought Seize yet. They have Guide. Okay. And they have another Guide, sure. So I'm going to wait and draw the Dark Slick. So I can play the Dark Slick. I can Thought Seize them. They've got Blood Moon, Amped Raptor, Bolt, Static Prison. So clearly we're taking the Blood Moon. The Amped Raptor could do something here, but it's a risk we have to take. The Static Prison doesn't do anything, the Lightning Bolt doesn't do anything. So with that in mind, I guess I'm going to take a Hallowed Fountain. Yeah, I'm going to eat one of these Guide of Souls. So this means that the Amped Raptor, oh, well, it'll be three energy. and No, it'll be four energy. Mm. Yeah, that was maybe not. I think I maybe should have actually just let, let them both live and then held back, gotten a basic, and then planes can potentially, like if they hit another Blood Moon with this, then I could have killed it. Now, the odds are not very high that they hit another Blood Moon, and they did not. They hit a Guide of Souls. So I think now we just have it locked up. And so, sure, they can pump their Guide. They have a Bolt in hand, but that doesn't matter. Of the untapped land for land number four. Pick up a Serum Visions that, again, doesn't really matter. So we'll go blue, blue. 
Oracle, holding control, let it resolve. Are they going to scoop it up? No. They're going to wait till see that we actually have the cards that we claim we have. We can name our good old friend Simeon Spirit Guide. Gone but not forgotten. May he rest in peace. And uh, yeah, round number two over Boros Energy. Unless they're going to bolt this and then still it's round number two, but it takes slightly longer. All right. Uh, cool. Uh, cool. We, we, we got there. Um, next round. Okay, so we're here in round number three. This hand is a little bit sketchy. I mean, we do have two thirds of the combo. We have land preordain. We can probably find a second land to make Thunder Trap happen. We have Pact. Pact doesn't go with the white card we have. Thunder Trap doesn't find the missing combo piece. I think this is just a little bit too sketchy. I'm gonna mulligan it. This is better, I think. I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna send away probably Flare. So we have like turn one, C Chrome Serum. Turn two, well, maybe it's turn one, Surveil Land. Let's see what they do. Misty Rainforest. Okay. Misty Rainforest pass. All right, yeah, so here I am going to play a Serum Visions. Okay, so Spoils is good. Dark Slick is not what we need. But we'll keep the Spoils, and then we can go, like, Delta Preordain. Okay, so maybe, maybe Frog Tide. Frog Tide could be a little bit tough. We need to hit some counter spells. Yeah, Frog, sure. I mean, this is, again, Spoils is a good pickup, but it's going to need to do more than that. All right, so I preordain. Bottom that. I'll top a Pact because I will need that. Then I'm going to go Delta. And I'm going to fetch a blue black surveil on end step and then depending on if i draw a land or not i may play teachings as a land so them getting the card is not the best Hopefully they okay. So I what I don't okay. Second frog, I mean second frog is not great, but it's not the worst. We'll do sewers. We do also need to find the grace still. Sink. I mean I could play like tapped sink, and then play Odawar ring. The thing is, if I, I don't think I'm gonna have time to go for like an end step teachings to eat a counter or whatever. I'm just gonna get buried under card advantage too quickly. So I think I need to actually, well, if I could also keep it and then like try to bounce a frog, then I have to play the Odawara. I'm gonna play the teachings. All right, no, I'm gonna bin this. Go to my turn. This is not looking great so far. Yeah, so we're gonna play archive, pass. And they do just get to clock us with more frogs here. This would have been a lot better if we were on the uh, on the play. We do get to make the interesting play here of OK, so if they hit us for two, we can potentially defend a ring with Pact. Because okay, so they're pumping, ditching a spell snare. Drawing two more cards. Yeah. Play another land. Yeah. And we go to our turn. We do draw the grace. I mean, we do just have it here if they only have one piece of counter magic. So what are the chances they only have one piece of counter magic? Not high. They shocked that in. They dumped a snare. Hmm, this is kind of tough. So if I play the ring, 
eats a counter. They're going to draw more cards. Feels like they have force and second force up. Or maybe they're just holding up force. The thing is, my situation probably does not improve by waiting. I mean, one more black land would mean I do get another counter spell, but they're getting two cards. I mean, maybe, so if I play ring, it eats a counter. They draw two cards. They'd have to draw a replacement counter. They can't just outright kill me. It's possible that they like go tap out for a Merc Tide or something. All right, I've, I've talked myself into playing ring. I think the upside for drawing a black land is high enough that I'm willing to risk it. So sure, some form of counter is happening here. Force. Archmage's Charm, sure. Okay, so we'll pass. And what I'm hoping for is that they go, like, hit us with frogs, play a Merc Tide. Because if they play, like, a Merc Tide, then they'll be a little bit tapped down, and maybe we get a window. Or that I draw another Black Source, and I just can have two pieces of interaction up. So either of those are things that we're rooting for. Okay, so they preordain. Let's see what they do with it. They go top, bottom. This card will cling to dust, that's fine. Go to our turn. Serum. No, so we're kind of in the same spot as last turn, although we did get them to burn a counter. And they did draw, what, they drew two cards, but they're down one guaranteed counter. They topped a card off of the Preordain. So I mean, I think it's pretty likely they have... Hmm. But here, currently it would be taking four. They draw a card, they actually all in kill us next turn if they dump everything on the frogs. All right, we, uh, we don't really have any other choice. Now, is there sequencing here that matters? So if I go Grace Spoils first and they like force pitch something, maybe there's a world where we then get to instead Serum. All right, so I'll, I'll Grace Spoils first. All right, so we'll actually, we'll Spoils, Hold Priority, Grace. Can't play anything now. So grace happens. Now they're going to counter, it looks like. Looked like counter spell. Yeah, so they're doing force pitch sync. Okay, so this is honestly good for us. Because now they don't have enough to like full dump cards and kill us. Yeah. Yeah, they don't have enough to full dump cards kill us. And if I force this, they let it happen, we go for the counter. I guess we do get to, no, but we'd have to specifically top deck Grace. I guess, well, no, Serum for land doesn't help anything here. Hmm. All right, I'm going to let this happen. I'm going to Serum and look for another Grace or an Unlife. Okay, we do find Unlife. It's kind of interesting. We'll bottom that, top this. Actually, that doesn't help us at all. I shouldn't have topped that. I could, no, yeah, I can't really burn the spoils. Okay, so, I mean, we're probably dead, but I, I should not have topped that. I have charm drawing two, yeah. 
Yeah, so we would have lost had we gone for it. It's a little bit strange to burn the force there first. Isn't it better to just use the counter and then have another counter? They're going to draw a million cards, I mean. And then the problem is this unlife isn't going to resolve. But maybe they, like, tap down for a Murktide, but then I can't really pact to defend the unlife. Dumping an island. Dumping a frog. Drawing two more cards. They've just drawn way too many cards for us this game. Delta, sure, they're fetching. Harbinger. Yeah, I mean... Okay, so I do get to untap, because I have the planes on top. So I do get to untap and play the unlife. However, okay, no, I, I mean, I do. There's The chances are so slim. I can pay a pact. It's not going to work, but I mean, I need to top deck swamp then is what I need. And for them to have nothing. And neither of those things are going to happen. Do I even want to pact this? I mean, okay, so I'll take eight, go to negative one. Yeah, this is just not gonna happen. I'm, I know technically we have the out of counter, but I'd rather, I don't know, maybe not show them pact or something. Definitely feels like a little bit of a rough matchup. We've got thought sees, so that's good. They can't beat an unlife if it ends up on the table. And on the play, if they play a frog, then we can kind of flip back and play an unlife. So I do like unlife. Flood Maw, no. Consign, no. Force, no. Ending can kill a frog, but I think it's a little bit too narrow overall. I'm gonna actually like trim a ring, because it just seems hard to resolve ring. On the play, it's a little bit better, though. Maybe we leave it. Cut, like, a sink. Uh, honestly, these unlifes are probably not really needed. It's like... I, the grace is uncounterable anyway, so it's not such a big deal to get, like, an uncounterable unlife into play. Sink could be good to, like, sink a frog. Okay, I'll leave sink, and I'll cut... I'll cut, uh, maybe waterlogged. No, waterlogged's good to play it in speed. The more playing at instant speed I can do, the better. All right, I'll cut one ring. All right, yeah, we'd, let's do this. Yeah, the ring's just a little bit, like, slow, sorcery speed, tap out. Okay, we've got double packed, we've got grace, and we've got one, one can trip. Perfect. By perfect, I mean this could be terrible, but, uh, we'll try it. I'm thinking I'm going to lead on Archive, and then Serum on 2, probably. If we get Thought Seized or something, I'm pretty sad about that, but... Uh, yeah, I'll keep a ring. They've got Delta. Go to our turn, draw a ring. So I'm going to... Fetch a Surveil before I play the Serum Visions. A little bit like playing the Temple before Serum in the uh, in front of you old school Adnaws people. I'll take a Fetch. Need that fourth land. Are they going to counter this? I'd be surprised. And they could, but... They're clinging to dust our... Alright, that's fine. Alright, so do I want Oracle? Yes, I do. Don't need the Delta. So turn three, it's going to be like Strand and uh, Pass. Okay, they don't have a Murktide. That's good. And then we're just in the... Spoils waiting room here. I think a Bowmaster, so that's fine. It is good against Ring, but... It 
does. I mean, it's not great for our cantrips, so there's that, but. All right, so we're taking two. We've scribed two cards to the bottom. That's going to be more valuable. Well, no, there's. I'm going to want to gem the ring, and I'm going to not want to take the damage to do it. Although. I mean, if they had Flood Maw, I think they would have, or whatever it is, I think they would have played it. I'm going to get a tapped Watery Grave. Go to my turn. Pick up a Delta. So here, I mean, I can like force through the ring, but it's a little bit dicey. It's kind of banking pretty heavily on drawing um, I'll take an island. Kind of banks pretty heavily on drawing uh, spoils in like the top four. That being said, that might just be my plan to win the game. So if I don't do that, I think I'm not that likely to win. So I think I probably will Pact to force this ring through. And then Grace. We'll take some damage from Bowmasters, but... I do get to draw some cards. They're thinking here. Spell Pierce. I think they have triple interaction. I'm going to Pact it. I think I'm, I, yeah, like if I pass here, I feel like I'm in pretty bad shape. So I think I need to make this ring happen. <sighs> yeah. I mean, even at the expense of this grace. Mm, they could certainly have like an actual counter spell here. Looks like maybe they do. They've consigned with replicate. Oh, that's a beating. All right, now we're going to have to grace and we're going to have to hope we top deck the, uh, the spoils. Yeah, if we don't top deck the spoils, we're just pretty far behind now. I guess if we draw another grace, we kind of are in the same spot that we were in if we just let it get pierced, so maybe, but. Okay, we didn't. We did draw island, so we can potentially Odawara something, but uh, things are not looking great. Got another Bowmasters. Big Orc Army. Four cards left. I think I need to just preserve life total, so I am going to Odawara the army. They could certainly have like a Merc Tide or something like that, but again, we can't afford to play around too many things here. We just like need to have something happen. This feels like a Merc Tide, so yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, sure. Ring? No, not ring. Uh, Here we take eight. I guess if we draw a ring, there's. There's some outside chances. I could play the Oracle. I need to draw like everything. I could have pacted the Murktide actually. I probably should have, but they would just counter the pact. All right, I'll. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna lose this one. Sometimes that happens. This is definitely not a good matchup. Could play like more like specific hate for it, Grand Abolisher or something. And then, like, they tap for a frog, we respond with Grand Abolisher, maybe. Here they're gonna have third Bowmasters and kill us. Called shot right now. Alright, no. So we draw a ring? Okay, well, we could Thunder Trap into ring and then not be able to play it, so there's always that. I guess we could draw... No, Grace is terrible. Alright, we'll scoop it up. 
that one wasn't happening. All right. Uh, I mean, still a rough matchup. We had some game. We had some chances. They had a little bit too much stuff. The double frog was rough in game one. Game two, I mean, maybe if it was second counter spell that wasn't a... Uh, what's it called? Consign. Then we would have the ring in play. We'd be drawing some cards. Maybe get there. Who knows? But uh, all right. Round number four coming up. Okay, so we are here in round number four with a hand that is, I think, not great, but I'm going to keep it. I can potentially go like turn one serum, turn two waterlog, turn three sink something, turn four hopefully draw another land and ring. So I think it has enough chances. I, I also, if I draw a Thunder Trap, Flare is live. I could also just hold Flare up as cancel on turn three. Opponent has skipped their draw step. I'd feel better about this hand on the play, but still, I think it's worth the keep. Opponent has played a Dark Slick Shores. Could it be the mirror or could it be Mill? It's always the question. Could also be Murktide, which would be sad. I, I don't want that. Island Serum. Flare. No. Yeah, I'm not going to have room for second Flare. So we're going to bottom both of those. So next turn, we've got um, Land Thunder Trap. We do need to start finding actual combo pieces. Consider. So I'm suspecting Murktide here. Considers not a mill card. Force Negation Bind. Island Serum. Interesting. I mean, I'm very happy they bind a Force Negation. Wonder what they're thinking seeing Serum, though. So I can go Swamp and Thunder Trap. And are they going to counter this is the question. I would hope that they don't because I'd rather like have the ability to hold up flare, but looking like they're going to. Oh, maybe not. Into Mark Tide. What are they doing? They're consigning the trigger. Interesting. I could flare the consign. I think I'll I think I'll do that. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I do want the card. No, I shouldn't have done that. That was a mistake. Because so I'd like to leave the Thundertrap Flare in play to make the ring happen. Yeah, that was actually bad. So I'm going to take a Spoils and the Jig is up as to what I'm playing. Yeah, that was that was not good. Probably it's sync hold up flare next turn, but we'll see what they do. Yeah, I definitely should have just let that happen. Although I guess this way fatal push becomes terrible, like a removal or something. They have a preordain, so so far, I mean, it could be land frog. I'd much rather it not be. They're shocking in with springs, or I guess bolting in with springs. And passing. Okay, so that's good. We draw Oracle. That's also good. So I'm going to go for Soporific Springs, paying three. And just hold up Flare. They can consider. That's fine. If they go for like a Murktide, I'm going to Flare the Murktide. Feels like they may go for a Murktide. Put a card on top with Consider. They counter to make that happen, then I can resolve a ring. A frog. I'm going to flare that. Play another land. They're ta they're tapping it. Okay. So Pact is good. I can wait and go waterlogged, or I can just jam a ring. I'm gonna jam a ring while they're mostly tapped out. 
Okay, it does stick. That's good. They're going to trick. Surely, if they'd consigned, they would have consigned the ring. There's no way you let it resolve and re consign the trigger, especially when you don't have a creature in play, and I'm at 17 life. So I'm not really sure what they're thinking about right now. I'm just going to draw now when Bowmasters isn't potentially an issue. Strand is, like, fine. We do at least have both of our basics. So if they have a... Um, What's it called? Tar Harbinger of the Tides? No, Harbinger of the Seas. Uh, we still get to combo, so that's nice. Lose a life. Draw a card. Pick up a Minamo. Ooh, Minamo is very cool. So here, I think I can just pass and either go for like an and go for like an end step ring activation and or waterlogged if they go for a bowmasters i can ring in response and they're just waiting so here i go for a ring activation maybe they bowmasters us we'll see archmage's charm that's fine. Okay, so we draw a little bit. I could, I think I'm gonna waterlogged here. Yeah, cause I, yeah, I mean, make them have, or like make them burn a counter here probably. Oh, they don't. All right, so we'll take an angel's grace. They have packed, I mean, But our turn, another spoils, sure. I can fetch with this. Get a watery grave. Shocking it in. I'm gonna draw a couple more cards with the ring. Act is obviously great. Flare would be fine. We drew all lands. Good stuff. All right, so I think I'm gonna play Oracle first, and we're gonna see if that resolves. And they spell snare. So I can Oracle again, or, yeah, so I could Oracle again Yeah, I think I'm going to let, just let that happen. Go for Oracle again. And now I still have Grace Spoils with Packed Backup. So that's on the stack, or that's resolved. And then I'll go for Spoils and Grace. This one they are probably trying to counter. They're fatal pushing it. That doesn't matter. It does matter a little bit in that if they have if we have like flare and they have like force of negation. So it 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 actually kind of is the rare case where pushing the oracle kind of does matter. But they don't have force of negation. And we had one packed anyway, so they would need double force. The trigger happens, and we get the first game over uh, Murktide again, or Frogtide, whatever you want to call it. So we want Thoughtseize in. And again, I think Unlife is really not at its best here. Flood Maw, no. Force, no. Consign, no. I think it's going to be, again, the same sort of plan. Cut one ring. Try and cantrip my way to the combo and then have as much interaction as possible between flare pack thought sees. I feel like I'm a little bit unprepared in the board here for counter counter magic based matchups. I mean, on paper, we should be okay against them with the quad packed three flare, but the flares do require the thunder trap surviving, so that's a little bit dicey. Although, that flare oracle is such a nice interaction against like force negation, for example. So you can like 
play the Oracle first, and then they can't counter it, and then you have Flare up. I think I probably want to go up to four Flare in this deck. Got Thunder Trap and combo cards. Now, the combo card that we are missing is the one that Thunder Trap can't get. That being said, I'm sort of hard pressed to throw this back. I can try and find like four Sir Pacts with these while hopefully just developing my mana. So I'll go Surveil on one, turn two Thunder Trap, and go from there. The Plains is nice to have. I'd like to be able to get Swamp because then the uh, then the Harbinger doesn't really do anything against us, but. Say la vie. We'll keep. All right, going for a tap land. We don't want to see is the turn. Ooh, we hit the combo. That's nice. So we'll go for under uh, underground sewer or un under city sewer. And then just start playing thunder traps while we hopefully draw lands. Frog, hopefully not frog. Just pass. No, it's frog. Why is it always frog? Look, they have that on turn two a disproportionate amount of the time, perhaps. Although I guess they didn't in two out of four games so far, so I really be angry. No, we have naturally drawn all three cards of our three card combo. Ooh, that's tough. I I think I have to bin it, but if they have surgical, I'm sad. But they shouldn't have surgical in their deck against us. It's just not a good card against us, really. All right, so we need to Thunder Trap. Hopefully we find at least a cantrip that can get us a land. I will chump the frog, most likely. So I could take Pact or I could take Serum. I think I'm going to take Pact. Yeah, I'm going to take Pact. We are going to need to be able to beat a pile of counters here. So this is the start to being able to do that. And yeah, again, I will, I will chump. Keep them down a card for a turn. It's kind of like a two for one, except it's a one for one that counters half of their like many for one. Does they have push? Oh, they have push in their deck. Still? Old. I mean, I guess they've gotten to cycle push. So. It's something. Draw a card, so, uh, yeah. Dark Slick. Again, we need a land. Any land would be good. I'm not picky. Second basic planes would be bad. However, we do not have a second basic planes in our deck. Likewise, basic forest would be pretty bad, too. Go to our turn. We do hit the land. All right, that's excellent. So now I could Thought Seize and then Thunder Trap, but I think I'd actually th rather Thunder Trap and then Thought Seize, because I kind of want this to bait a piece of counter magic. And then I can, like, Thought Seize away the extra piece of counter magic. All right, sure. Now I thought seize. They have Bowmaster, seize, consign. So consign is a little bit of a problem, but I think seize is the bigger problem that I need to deal with right now. Yeah. Yeah, I can't let that happen. I wonder... Oh, I guess maybe they drew... No, they pushed... Oh, maybe they drew it off the frog trigger. So I was going to say, otherwise they should have just probably jammed it. And again, we do need to get rid of this consign. Consign is, is a big issue. Countering the oracle trigger. I do get to draw a card. But a lot of the rest of their hand does not do much. Another pact. Hmm. All right, so here I'm going to make the unfortunate call of spoilsing for a land. 
we can go for uh, Flooded Strand. Probably, uh, I mean, yeah, we just need to continue developing our mana here. Otherwise, we just don't really have a shot. So, and double packed. Maybe there's a world where they like tap down a little bit. All right, so we'll go Flooded Strand. And okay, I mean, we're at seven. Bowmaster, six, five, four, three, two, and then they're gonna discard cards. We're gonna probably die here. I guess I can grace myself to one and then hope we top deck another grace. I could also packed Bowmasters. That actually might be a play. Yeah, I think. I think I packed Bowmasters, because then I grace. Problem is they just have the consigned with replicate. So if I do let this happen, I go to six. I take four. They discard two cards to the frog. I grace. And then I have to top deck the. I have to top deck the grace. 3 and 38. Alternately, if I, if I packed, they hit us, but then they don't discard the cards. I think I'm going to actually packed, because maybe they don't hit us low enough. No, I think I'm... Yeah, maybe they don't hit us low enough in order to, like, preserve the consign. Yeah, I'll... But this kind of forces them to. So I'll let this happen. Yeah, yeah. And they have four. Oh they'll, oh, they'll draw one card. They'll be able to keep the consign in their hand. I was thinking that this was the two cards that they were going to have. Never mind. I think it still doesn't change the math. Preordaining. I'm good with that because it's tapping them off mana. And if they, like, tap off of one more mana... Well, no. Okay. I was going to say, if they tap off of one more mana, I get to, like, triple... Uh, they discard an island. Discard the consign. Okay, so that's kind of big. Now here I'm going to fetch. I can... Oh, I don't have a top land. I guess, where did, oh, it got exiled. All right, sure. So we can do Watery Grave tapped. We don't have a, no, no, we're not missing a grace. So then I can grace. Question is, do they have another Bowmasters? But the answer is, it doesn't really matter. Very happy that consign is gone. So if we draw a grace off the top, we can win this. You get to draw a card. Unless they just drew a second consign, in which case we're toast. Oh, we do. Oh, man, we get it. All right. I mean, unless they drew a second consign, this is going to be the game. Act that. And I mean, what else they got? Come on, come on. Resolves. Okay, step one. Hold priority spoils, hold priority grace. In the Simeon. No consign. Come on. Not topping mana. Oh, we get there. Okay. Yeah, that's... That was... I mean, we got lucky, but... 
sometimes that happens. You put cards in your deck to draw them, right? We had three and 38, so that was about a, it's a bit worse than 10%. It's probably like a 7% or something like that. Not impossible by any means. All right, sweet, so we uh, we get there. That was That was really cool. Round number five, we're three and one. Okay, so we have a hand. We're on the draw here. We've got two thirds of the combo, naturally. We've got some cantrips. It's a one lander, but I'm gonna keep it on the back of these cantrips. Flare of Denial could be good, depending on what else we find. Opponent is leading on Utopia Sprawl. Ponza, naming red, okay. So I probably want to get Basic Island. We do pick up another Blooded Strand. I am going to get Basic Island, and then I'm going to Serum Visions. Don't need this. I will take another Island, though. What do they have? They've got Talisman of Impulse. Okay, I guess it doesn't seem like Breach. I guess it could be like... No, Breach would be Eldrazi, though. Rumble. Could this be Shifting Woodlands? Like um, Omni? Coslex Command, Coslex Return. So it's like... Interesting. So it's Eldrazi where they just have a very non-colorless land start, it looks like. I'm going to Preordain. Uh, I will take another Preordain. And then I'm going to Preordain again. Bottom that, and do I want another Preordain? I don't think I do. We draw Serum. Okay. So probably next turn it's going to be Hold Up Flare. We have another Rumble. What did they take off of the first one? Did they? It's not a Mica Spawn. Stirrings, Talisman. They chose selling Mica Spawn. The fir oh, the first one was World Breaker. Okay. So they could play like a Mica Spawn to ramp. Looks like maybe they are. They hit an Eldrazi Temple. So we go to our turn. Draw another Spoils. Technically, it's a combo piece. But I'm just going to hold up Flare. I know we'd like to play this Serum, but I, I don't think we can afford to really. Because we're just shields down in that case, and I think this turn they could certainly have something big. Breach, for example. You can hit us with the Mica Spawn, that doesn't matter that much. If they do nothing, then we go for a Surveil Land. And we're cool, the promised end. Well, I mean, that's pretty bad. That's some, uh, some big delirium happening. We can't counter the trigger. And because we can't counter the trigger, well, I guess we could fetch a white land, flare them. So if we fetch a white land, flare them, kind of the worst they could do is like burn our grace or like give us a bad serum. Although if they hit a black land, they can kill us with spoils. Is it worth trying to not hit a black land? They get two draws at it. They'd get one off of the serum, one draw for turn. They wouldn't play ring. Dark Slick wouldn't count. It would have to be like a fetch or a natural black land. If that happens, then there's really not that much damage they can do if we don't draw a black land. 
Assuming, again, I'm going to fetch Hollowed Fountain here. I think it's actually worth the risk. It's like, what? Yeah, they can't do that much damage. You also get planes. Is that better? Maybe. Yeah, so I mean, I have five bad draws. Pact would also be bad. They like Grace Serum Pact. So I have nine bad draws. Nine bad draws high enough that I just scoop it here. It's only like 25%. And if they have to serum into the pact, they don't actually get two draws at it. Oh no, but they get two draws at the other things. So if they hit a pact off of the draw step. I guess then there's a lot of other cards. Actually, I think this is high enough percent that I'm going to I think I'm going to ski a scoop because they get two draws at a essentially two draws at 25% is like 50 50. Oh, maybe it's no, maybe it's not high enough. All right. It's not high enough. It's like because I, I know it's not exactly 50 50, but they have more outs for double draws with pact, but then they have double draws in general. So the pact isn't always a double draw. They can also do something like preordain into pact. Thunder Trap into Pact isn't good enough. All right, I'll I'll try it. They so get their Cosmex return back. Let's see how much damage you can do. Oh, they drew the... Oh, but it comes in tapped, so the Dark Slick doesn't count. They drew a Thunder Trap. They can scry these to the bottom if they want. Not play the land, but... Or they can try and scry them to the top and mess us up. We can burn our Grace. So, I mean, maybe? Then once we have the Thunder tra Trap in play, we do have Flare available. They could have also... Th oh no, they drew the Flare off... Or the Thunder Trap off the Serum. I was going to say they could, like, Thunder Trap, fail to find Serum, Flare the Serum. It's a little bit risky on their part, though. On top, one bottom. Maybe they gave us another ring. Yes, yeah, so they're going to grace here. All right, so that was not so much damage. And they put the sewers on top, which I kind of expected. All right, so I'm going to sewers first here. I'll leave that on top. And then I'm just going to hold up flare, I think. Yeah, I could maybe I should have thunder trapped before sewers, but I do want the oracle obviously, so I can just hold up flare naturally. Cosmic return. Oh, they left the Cosmic return, I think. All right, that's good. Worldbreaker. They have another Emrakul. Oh no, it is Worldbreaker. All right, so that's going to happen. Well, the Kozlex return. Here I can flare. They do get to eat the land. And then they get to hit us for three with the Mica spawn. We draw the Oracle, which we knew about. Here, I'm going to Thunder Trap. 
we whiff. Okay, sure. Dark Slick, and uh, here we go. Hopefully they don't have like another big threat. They can bring the World Breaker back, but then they'd have only one, two, three, four, five mana. I guess if they have a, a Soul Lance, they could bring the World Breaker back and replay it. I'm not going to block this. not oh they have another they have a micro spawn okay sure i mean we need to top deck a land then what are the chances that the thunder trap misses though not high guess like wolf run into another talisman sure so now they do have the mana to like bring back world breaker and replay it So I can go Unlife, probably Worldbreaker eats this, but we're probably just dead to the Overrun. I didn't actually count it. Oh wait, no, but they we have the Unlife, obviously. So one, two, three, four, we'll see if they do it. We're just not gonna block, I think. I don't really see a need to. They pump the one of these large, then they can't replay the world breaker, so they can't kill the unlife. So we get a chance to draw a black land. Okay, so they have rumble. Ooh. Okay, they got another ember cool. Now they know what we're doing, so. I mean, I guess they could play Oracle and make us miss our turn after that with Oracle. They could put a bad card on top. If we top deck a land, they could Fetch Shock kill us. Oh no, Fetch Shock would just take us to zero. So I guess if here we want to... No, but if we if they top deck a Fetch Land, then they kill us with Spoils. If we don't top deck a land... They kill us by playing Oracle and then having us top deck junk. I guess we're not immediate. No, we'd be dead then to bring back. Okay, yeah, that's that's over. Yeah, because we simultaneously both need and don't need a land. So um, that's not going to work. All right, so we're against. Eldrazi, so Force Negations, I, I do want those. Thought Seizes, I think I want. Consign, definitely. Well, actually, we have probably too many cards for this matchup. There's also Flood Maws. Unlife is kind of bad. That can come out. Teachings, anyone? Yeah, and I do probably want... Well, maybe I don't want Flood Maws on the play. We just want to be, like, proactive and a little bit disruptive. Pact is a little bit less good. We'll get rid of those. And then try to, like, be more proactive with, like, Thoughtseize Consign Serum out. Yeah, okay, we can do this. Like, jam a Ring, Flare and Force their stuff. Thoughtseize their stuff, Consign their stuff. Consign countering the trigger on Emrakul could be relevant, too. So we've got a Thought Seize, a Force, and five lands. I don't know that we can keep this. I'm going to mulligan that. This is better. Bottom, a Thunder Trap. We have, like, the full combo. If they have a fast enough, um, a fast enough Emrakul, they'd be able to kill us here probably. But if multi five, so we're gonna probably get under city sewers here, understanding that it means that we uh, are in fact vulnerable to Emrakul, but we can't really do a lot about that, I don't think. And I need to hit more lands, so 
That's just what it is. Stirrings. So they can't have like a thought not on two. They do hit Eldrazi Temple. Doers. Delta, yes, we want that. So I'm going to play the Delta and fetch now. Getting a Hallowed Fountain. And then we'll go for the Thunder Trap. And I'll take... Hmm. I'll take a Spoils. Because if we don't hit on a land next turn, I will probably Spoils on end step for a land. And risk dying, but sometimes that's how it goes. I like play tapped sync and then spoils. Would have been nice to actually get a flare. Um, that's kind of what I was hoping for, but we'll see. They hit a Trinisphere. That's hateful. And they're going to be playing it next turn, I would imagine. Flooded Strand. So now we have some choices to make. One is we play sync tapped. We, spoil, oh, we don't have Pact, though. We could Spoils for a Flare. There's three of it. So when they try to Trinisphere, we Spoils for fl Flare, Flare it, and then Fetch. And as long as we're above... Actually, above one, that would be okay. Assuming we don't get rid of all of our basics. Yeah, I, I think that's the play. Not paying three life for this. We might... No, oh, there's no point in attacking. We're not going to win with combat. So they untap, they probably play a land, and then jam the Trinisphere. Yes. Getting rid of an Emrakul. They could go for a Thought Knot. Similarly, we can just Spoils for the Flare. Other things I could Spoil for include Flood Maw. That's just worse, though, because I can't use it this turn. Of Denial. Alright, so, so far so good. We did not get rid of all of our lands. So, I'm liking our chances here. Get an island. Oracle, let it resolve, spoils, and grace. All right, good stuff. 1-1, one, one, final game, Eldrazi. Oh wait, we didn't even have the Flood Maws in our deck anyway. Okay, so against Trinisphere. Probably do want at least like one Flood Maw. Oh, no, I'd rather stop the Flood Maw, or I'd rather stop the Trinispheres on the stack, I think. So between Force, Flare, the One Sink, Consign, Thought Seize. Yeah, I think I have enough options. I don't think I need Flood Maw. I don't really want to dilute the rest of my deck. I could have thought about cutting like one ring, but I don't know. This is pretty good. I mean, we have a... Grace, we have all the lands we need, and we have a couple cantrips to sculpt for whatever we want. I'm going to keep this. So they've mulled to six. So I can lead on Serum. Let's see what they've got. Nothing. Could be a Trinisphere hand out of them. Okay, Thought Seize is good. I'm going to bottom the Swamp, top the Thought Seize. Flare is good for the turn after that. Ugin. Yeah. Oh, they didn't have an imprint for it, though. Rumble? All right. They chose the Stone Brain. Okay. So we go to our turn. So here I can Thought Seize them.
If stone brain ring, Kozlox commands talisman. So I'm going to get rid of the stone brain. And then play a preordain. Found another thought seize. I don't think I need another thought seize. We do have force now. So that's good. Now we're just looking for the oracle. I would accept ring as well. So three mana. I and mean, they could play talisman. Oh, they're sacking for the ring. Okay, I'm going to force that. Rather not give them the cards. We draw a Thunder Trap. That's pretty good. I'm going to go for that first and then play the fetch. Um, yeah, I'm going to take the Spoils. Go for Delta. I could Spoils for Oracle here, depending on what they do. Probably I feel like I'm going to do that. The Kozlex doesn't matter. Talisman they can play. They just have another ring. Okay, I mean, that's okay. Alright, so here we're going to fetch. So we can fetch, it has to be Water Grave if we want to Spoils for Oracle here. And I think it is worth the risk. I mean, we need one of our four Oracles to be in the top, uh, top 13, no, top 12 if I want to be able to play Grace. Yeah, we're going to go for it. Live by the Spoils, die by the Spoils, Thassa's Oracle, all right, we hit it. All right, so we're good. Unless I exile my planes and, okay, no. So I have untapped white sources. We've got planes. We got Oracle. Let it resolve, spoils, and we've got grace. Does that mean spirit guide? And that's a 4-1. All right, um, let's take a look back at the deck list. So this deck was definitely sweet, and it actually felt pretty powerful too. Um, trap, Thunder Trap, Flare, Flare with Oracle. All of that was really nice. Um, I, I'm not 100% sure on how I feel about Serum versus other cantrips. I think I do prefer it. It's not like we're really holding up our mana at instant speed for instant speed cantrips. Again, usually if we're playing this like later in the game, it's probably alongside one ring. So I'm willing to take the fringe or more fringe case where it's like turn five and you top deck a Serum slash sleight of hand and you're looking for that last combo piece. I'm willing to take lower odds there in exchange for having more digging on average earlier in the game. Other than that, I feel like the lands are maybe slightly sketchy. I think I want maybe a godless shrine or some other type of some, because between black lands, I have a couple dark slicks, but for fetchable black lands, it's just the sewers, one grave and swamp. And then for fetchable white fountain archive planes, maybe it's still okay. I feel like I wouldn't mind another another colored like white or black source though. It's possible that we don't necessarily need these fast lands and instead we could be playing some other type of land in that slot. Teachings I thought was actually decent. Didn't really mind that. Sync was fine. The cantrips are good. If you're playing this deck, you absolutely cannot board out many cantrips. I know it's like a common plan to board out cantrips. You can't do it here. The deck stops functioning if you board out the cantrips. It's definitely like a Xerox deck. Other than that, uh, yeah, I mean, my sideboard was a little bit of a mess. I'll play this again at some point, I'm sure. Um, it, it feels pretty good. It feels like a better version of what I was working on all the way back last spring with like ring and like a more controlling ad shell. Um, I was playing opt and then I was trying to play like spell pierce and stuff like that. Thunder trap trainer and flare denial weren't out yet. 
um, but I, I do think that they give this style of deck a pretty nice boon. It's possible that in some metas you want Force Negation main deck. I don't think you do at the moment with energy running around as much as it is, but being able to have a high enough blue count to play Force Negation is also cool. We could also consider like Lore, a Lorien revealed or two if we're playing Force like that, although I don't think we have problems with the blue count at the moment. And in that case, the Lorien revealed is not as necessary because you're really never going to be hard casting it. Yeah, deck was great. All right, until next time, keep casting Thassa's Oracle. I'm going to be away for uh, a little bit because I'm going to RC Washington, D.C., playing some Pioneer. Um, so, again, if you're going to be there, feel free to say hi. Um, you can put put a comment or something, and I'll uh, I'll figure out a way to, uh, to chat a little bit. Um, but other than that, we'll be returning uh, next week with some more combo maybe maybe salty Grish, grishel brand i'm not sure yet we'll see all right bye everyone keep comboing